Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we will learn about the ARM instruction set and the difference in thumb and the ARM mode instruction set. Thumb instruction set encodes a subset of the 32-bit ARM instructions into a 16-bit instruction set space. Since thumb has a higher performance than ARM on a processor with a 16-bit data bus, but a lower performance than the ARM on a 32-bit data bus. We mostly use a thumb for memory constraint system because the thumb has a higher code density than the ARM. You know code size is the space taken up in a memory by the executable program. The important fact is that for the memory constraint embedded system, for example mobile phones and the PDH, code density is a very important factor. Cost pressures also limit the memory size, width and the speed. We can say on average a thumb implementation of the same code takes up around 30% less memory than the equivalent ARM implementation. But a more important aspect is very interesting. Thumb implementation uses more instructions even though it takes less code spaces. That's when the overall memory footprint is reduced. The code density was the main driving force for the thumb instruction set because it was also designed as a compiler target rather than for a handwritten assembly code. I will recommend that the, you should write a thumb targeted code in a high level language like C or C++. Nowadays compilers are very intelligent. They can take care of memory constraints. Now let's move for a data processing instruction sets. Data processing instruction set consists of arithmetic logic and the comparison and the data movement operation. The main aspect of the arithmetic data instruction, it has a lot of variation in its instructions such as you can directly subtract or you can also do reverse subtract. But these instructions are only work on a registers but not on a memory. As we have already discussed in the first tutorial, if you don't remember, please refer to the first tutorial. The syntax of the instruction is very simple. We can also add suffix s. Adding the suffix s means it will update a PSR according to the most recent LU operation result. But uh, conditional suffix is not supported into the thumb mode code. I want to tell you about some of instructions maybe for which you do not familiar such as BIC bit clear instructions and this instructions clear the specified bit of registers. ORR instructions uses for the setting the bits and instructions uses for the masking of the bits. EOR that is the MJOR uses for the inversion of the bits and also here some are comparison instruction set which do not produce any result but this type of instructions only set condition codes. CMP use like a subtract. CMN that is the complement negative and uh, it is like some um, add subtract of negative number in the same as odd and the test is like the end operation and the TEQ is like a XOR operation. As we can see here the ARM instructions can work with more than two registers in a single instructions but here register thumb mode but here again thumb mode supports only two registers operation together. Very important feature of ARM is second operand is sent to the ALU via parallel shifter Generally, all instructions are a single cycle instructions except PC operation instructions. The barrel shifter is a function unit which can be used in a number of different circumstances. It provides a five type of shift and the rotate which can be applied to the operand too. And these are the LSL, logical shift left, logical shift right, arithmetic shift right, rotate right and the last one is the rotate right extended. There are two methods for a shifting first. First one is you can rotate or shift through another registers or you can directly give the immediate value for shifting. And let's understand with the example. Here first operation is move operation with the logical shift left that's in the register 0 will multiply by 2 and then result will again store in the same register that's meaning R0. This second instruction is used for the division but unsigned. And this third one is used for the sign division. And this fourth instructions will rotate right by 16 bit. It means it will swap the top and the bottom half of registers R3. Now let's do some programming exercise. First implement an ABS absolute value function for a register value using only two instructions. And the solution is this. In a first cycle, 
it will set flag for checking the numbers whether it is negative or positive and in the second it is performing a reverse subtract and if it is negative otherwise it will be as it is and this type of instructions is known as a conditional instruction and it can be only writing in R code. Let's move for next questions. Multiply a number by a 35 and guaranteeing that it execute in a two code cycle. Now the solution of this question is this. In the first instruction number is multiplied by 5 and in the second it is multiplied by 7. So overall result is coming with the multiplication of a 35. Now I am going to stop this tutorial here and if you have any question please comment below and subscribe this channel for more video tutorials.